Open heavens on the go. Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. Topic, Victory over evil. Memory verse, 2 Samuel 22, 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Bible reading, Psalm 91, 1 to 8. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. The message. The psalmist says in Psalm 125, 1, that they that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. One point to be quickly noted about this scripture is that it is only for those who put their trust in the Lord, not those who have alternatives to the Almighty God. Those who put their trust in God are immovable. This was David's experience. In the Bible text of today, we see another dimension of divine protection over God's people. This is food for thought for those who are still in doubt of God's ability to protect to the very end. Some people are even afraid of prosperity because they feel they will be prone to enemy attacks when they prosper. They refuse to believe David's assurance in Psalm 23 verse 5, which says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. My cup runneth over. Not only did God prepare a sumptuous table for David, he filled his cup to the point of overflow just to show that he had more than enough to give to his beloved. As if that was not enough, it was done in the presence of David's enemies, and they could do nothing against it. The Almighty God who prospers us is also the one who protects, and he has assured us that he will keep us at all times. Psalm 91, 3, and five. David's experiences, first with the lion, then the bear, first Samuel seventeen, thirty-four to thirty-seven, and later with Goliath, first Samuel seventeen, forty-nine to fifty-one, are testimonies that should make any doubter believe that our God is Jehovah Nisi. This means he is the banner that covers and goes ahead of us to guarantee victory in every battle we face. Exodus 17:15. Beloved, I am assuring you that if you put your trust in the Lord, your protection will be guaranteed because our God never fails. He watches over his elect so that his name may not be blasphemed. The Lord fights on behalf of his elect and always ensures they are victorious over evil. Hence, your victory over evil is guaranteed so long as you remain on God's side and stay away from sin. Action point. Ensure that you serve only the Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
so your protection can be guaranteed in the blood of the Lamb. Bible reading in one year, Song of Solomon 5 to 8. Him for today, all hail the power of Jesus' name. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.